Hello, my name is Gerd Raumann and I'm going to show you my uh, product for the design challenge of the ESP website. Uh, my product is called the WESP, the WESP, uh, and this is the box where it could come in. Um, inside the box you find sensors and actuators. Um, this is for example an LED. You can see the minimum and the maximum value that you can send to it. Um, there is a button. There is an analog input. And there is a servo. Um, inside the box is also the product itself, the WESP. Um, on the WESP there are four ports. Uh, one analog input, uh, port 2, port 3 and port 4. You can plug in the servo, the button or the LED on every port. You can set it in the software. And the box is also a manual for teachers and students to learn it. Um, and there are some cheat sheets on how the programming works, uh, what different components there are in the programming language. Uh, so this could be useful for using it. Also, the components are described. Um, and there are some examples of programs that you can program. So I'm going to show you how it works. Um, that's the main point of this video. So let's connect it to the computer and see what happens. So there is a USB input. Uh, it's a Node MCU uh, ESP board. So you can just plug in USB. So let's plug it in. Um, let's plug it into the computer. Um, and I made a um, Google Chrome app to control it. So let's open Google Chrome. Let's go to the app section. And let's open the WESP app. So you can see it recognizes all the all the settings that are already on there. So I preset the Wi-Fi password, Wi-Fi network, and I also preset the server that it's using. Um, let's des destroy the sensors for now. So um, I want to control my locker in school. Um, I always don't know which locker is mine. and. Also, I lose my key quite often, so it would be cool if I could control my locker with my smartphone. So let's build that as an example. Um, so what do we need? We need something to lock the locker. Uh, that could be a server. So let's plug that into port 4. Um, and then we also need to say to the software that in port 4 there is a servo. Um, Let's also plug in an LED so I know which which locker is mine. So let's plug that into port 3. So now we have an LED in port 3 and a servo in port 4. Let's also drag and drop an LED in port 3. That's cool. Um, I need something on my mobile phone. There's also a part in the software where you can use your mobile phone. Let's put a switch in there so I can open and close my locker. Okay, this is basically what I need. Um, so now I can go to the next section uh, where I have a QR code that I can scan with my mobile phone. So let's do that. Okay, let's open that. And you can see that there is a, a checkbox inside the app. So I can check the value and I can uncheck the value. Cool. Let's go to Node-RED. That's the program that I'm now using for uh, controlling different things and making new behavior. So let's push on this button. And now it connects to the Node-RED server that I set up. Take some time. Cool. Um, the software automatically copied to the clipboard what I have to use as inputs and outputs, so 
Let's paste them first. Cool. Um, and what I want to do is control the servo with my mobile switch. Um, the servo needs values from 0 till 180. So I have to change the values for my mobile phone, uh, which are 1 or 0, to 180 and 0. So I'm going to do that by building a switch um, where it could be 0 or it could be 1. And connect that to my mobile switch. And then I want to change the value that I got uh, to, to 180 or so I have to set it here, set the value there. Um, and I have to change the value to zero as well and to zero there. Let's see if one, so one relates back to 180 now and zero relates to zero. Okay, let's try that. So now I deployed the code. Um, it takes some time for the, double, uh, the WASP to connect to the server, but if it's connected, you can see the blue LED flashing. So now it's connected to the Node-RED server and we can try out the program. So let's try. So as you can see, if I press the checkbox on my mobile phone, the servo turns. So I actually have what I want now. I can make it um, a lock system for my locker and I can control it with my smartphone. So that's quite cool. I also need to know which locker is mine. So I have to use the LED. It's now on all the time. That's in a way okay. Uh, but it's cooler if it's on when my locker is unlocked. So when I check the checkbox. So let's make that. Um, the LED can have a value of, the LED can have a value from zero till 123. So let's make that work. So zero um, and 100, 123, 123, and let's say that if my switch is off, the LED is off, and when uh, my switch is on, the LED is on, um, and let's deploy this again. You always have to deploy it before it works. So let's do it. That's cool. So it's deployed now. Uh, I only have to wait till the WASP connects to it. So when the blue LED works, it is connected to it. So let's wait. Yep. So the blue LED is flashing again. Um, so you can see that now the locker is unlocked. And now the locker is locked, the LED is off. I don't have to know which locker is mine when it's locked, only when I unlock it. I want to know which locker is mine. Um, so this is basically the, the most simple program to, to make with this. Uh, I'm looking forward to feedback and comments from you guys. Uh, and if you want to develop this further, contact me or use the code. I will share everything. Uh, on GitHub, uh, uh, the hardware as well as the software, so the, the Google Chrome app, the Node-RED server, the hardware as in the plastic, the 3D printed files and the schematic for the electronics. So I'm looking forward to your feedback. Thanks.